Welcome to Theotrade. This is Don Kaufman. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about scanning for implied volatility. <clears throat> what I ultimately mean by that is we've done a number of different videos in this series here uh, about implied volatility. We've talked about IV percentile. We've talked about things like expected move, but in the end, you might be comfortable with a certain implied volatility on a given product okay and you know i start here on the scanner but again a quick refresher would be on the trade tab we look at the spiders we look to the right hand side of the screen at implied volatility and is there a number that you're comfortable with is 18 percent high implied volatility low implied volatility maybe you want underlyings with higher implied volatility. However, as a bit of a warning, you have to remember what implied volatility means. It means risk. Okay, ask yourself, do I want higher risk? It's all right if you do, it's all right if you don't. But again, do you want higher risk? And that's for you to ultimately determine. I'm just going to show you the most effective way to be able to scan for implied volatility. Now, make no two ways about it. I am using thinkorswim. I do not want you to feel, you know, uh, out of luck if you don't necessarily have the Thinkorswim trading application. Listen, I started with Thinkorswim back in 2000. I spent, you know, 15 years on the trading application, and it's what I'm going to be most comfortable with in terms of technology and scanning. Lots of different trading applications will offer scanning capabilities. But, okay, this video is going to get quite in depth about the most effective ways ultimately to be able and capable on any trading application of scanning specifically for implied vol. First and foremost, I have gone into the scan tab on Thinkorswim <clears throat> under stock hacker. I'm going to hack this stock. Now implied volatility you would think is more of an option, but it's going to be easier, more effective to do this under the stock hacker. And I've got all these fields and net change and volume and percentage change and on and on and on. First thing I do, I'm going to get rid of each of these fields. I don't need no stinking fields. And I'm scanning right now on all stocks. I don't think I need that either. I don't want some strange stock that's, that's trading for, you know, a few pennies coming up. So what I do is I go down to these public lists. And one of the public lists, like you'd think I would use S&P 500, but I don't. I don't use the S&P 500 because that then omits stuff like the SPX. It omits stuff like some ETF. I'll actually cruise down. I like the weeklies. I like to scan for weeklies. And you're know, like, what's the weeklies? Hmm, on the trade tab. It's products like spiders that have weekly options listed on them. There's tons of products that have weeklies on them. How many products now? Well, when I go scan in weeklies, I could just hit the scan button, and it's going to show me there's 413 products that now have weeklies. Let's get to scanning, though, for implied volatility. So if I want to scan for implied volatility, what do I do? I'm going to go over here to Add Filter for Stock. Yes, implied volatility, even though it's options, happens to be under one of the stock filters. And I click... All right, and I start scrolling down the list, and I'm like, where is it? 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 Ooh, there's something for a vol differential. It's a volatility differential between front and back month. There's vol index. There's weighted back vol. Oh, it gets quite exciting in here. So there's several different types of volatility scans, but the irony is like you don't necessarily see like what you're looking for. Like, ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. There's a front vol scan. Uh, what the heck is that? The scan that you're really looking for, if you're scanning for implied volatility, you really want to scan for vol index. That's the scan you want to use. So what is the vol index? The vol index, if I go over to the trade tab, okay, on Thinkorswim, the vol index, it's what we term a VIX style implied volatility. What a vol index really amounts to, I'm going to kind of script it out over here. The vol index, so we're going to call it again, vol, okay, index. That vol index is a 30-day, okay, 30-day in vol. 
it's a 30-day implied volatility. And the reason I wrote that out over here is because when you start looking at the option chain, you average like this 30 days and, you know, what, 37 days and 44 days. Well, it averages, okay, a bunch of different option chains together to produce a 30-day implied volatility. Now, to find that 30-day implied volatility on Thinkorswim and on the trade tab here, you look down under option statistics, okay, right here, implied volatility says 19.52. Again, nowhere do you see on this trade tab 19.52, because again, it's an averaging model of 30-day implied vol, and that's ultimately what we're scanning for. So... I come back to the scanner, and once you know what you're scanning for, I think it's a lot easier. Then I put in a number. You're like, what kind of implied volatility? Let's say in this case, I want to scan for higher implied volatility. Let's say 50% implied volatility seems like a lot. And we hit scan, okay? And there we are, 110 products come up with that kind of implied volatility. That's, that's a lot, like all of these products, all right? And there's only 413 different products. And then you can go in here and go, well, go fish. What do you mean go fish? Well, no, no, let's put in 80% implied volatility. Oh, yeah, that sounds exciting. And then tons more products come up. But you got to realize, some of these products are like, what, dry ships. It's a 11 cent stock. It's almost 12 cents, but it's an 11 cent stock over there. And you got to realize, maybe you want to omit those. Well, to omit those stocks, you know, what you can do is add another filter. You can come and add a filter like for mark mark is the mid price all right of any given stock so the stock marking and you can say i want to find stocks above and only above a certain price and maybe you say 10 bucks and hit enter and then you know you can scan and you can start to like scrub the list now we're down to like 15 different products remember the last price has to be above 10 dollars so this is scanning okay in essence for what volatility it's it's really it's the easiest way and the most effective way to find kind of what you're looking for in a larger subset of 413 products. At least now we got it down to 15. Now from there, there's a tremendous amount more you can do, obviously with the scanner. But one thing I want to leave you with here in this video is that scanning for volatility to me isn't enough. Okay, what you really want to learn to do is to go in there and scan, okay, for implied volatility percentiles. And again, throughout the series of videos we've done, I've done everything from implied volatility to implied volatility percentiles, okay? But what we're trying to do is we're trying to zero in on a specific type of underlying, in this case, a higher implied volatility that seems the most suitable, maybe, for us in any given trade. Thanks a lot, everybody, for joining us here at Theotrade.